What's up everybody, Isaac here with Civil Engineering Academy, jumping on real quick to do some fun reviews with you. I am actually um, got was gifted these books from School of PE to do some reviews on, and I wanted to share those reviews with you if you're studying for your Civil PE depth exam. So what the School of PE has done is they've released depth manuals for those taking uh, the, the Civil Engineering PE exam. These are preview editions. If I could just show you one of them. This is a preview edition. This one specifically is for water resources, but these are preview editions. So what the School of PE is doing is they are allowing people, uh, if you are a member of their course, to get these manuals as part of their courses. So if you wanna go check out their courses, go to civilengineeringacademy.com slash SOPE. You can go check these out. You can see right off the bat that these books these review manuals are various thicknesses and I talk about this in each review but basically what you're getting here is a lot of material is covered in the AM uh, and if it is covered in the AM then it's found in their uh, review manuals for the AM. For the PM portion you're getting stuff that's in uh, the PE spec but uh, like structures or construction as you know we're here what's this construction depth review. You can see it's not very thick, and the reason for that is because most of that is covered in the AM portion. But you can see for transportation, this is the thickest book. Check that out. This thing is huge. So that's the thickest book, but um, and the reason why is because there's not a lot of material for the depth portion, right? Currently in the specifications, there's just no, not a lot of topics. So you got to cover a lot in a depth section review manual. So anyway, School PE has, has let me use these. I did a quick review of each video, which is um, what I wanted to share with you. Uh, and hopefully you will understand what I think these are great manuals as you check out the review itself. Um, but I overall, I think they're uh, great books and definitely worth checking out. So stay tuned, it's coming right up. A review of each of these manuals is coming right up. All right, so let's keep going on this. So this is specifically for the Structural Depth Preview Edition. Again, only available for their course students, but this will be released later when the exam goes computer-based to everybody. Um, as we go through this, first thing I notice right off the bat is that you've got colored pages in here, which is super nice. Kind of gives it an updated feel for these review manuals. Um, Chapter one is analysis of structures. Chapter two, forces and load effects. Chapter three, materials and material properties. Chapter four, components, design and details. Chapter five, design philosophy, code, standards, guidance, documents. And chapter six, temporary structures and other topics. And here are those that created this book. You got Dr. Bukeda. Hopefully I said that right. You can read their bios, which is nice to see. You got Alex Harvey that also is listed here. You can read their bios. So they bring in, again, subject matter experts that deal with structures all the time. And those are the authors. You also have uh, Mr. Kumar, Mr. Perez, and Mr. Sezen. Hopefully I'm saying those right, but you can read all about them at the beginning of the book, which is super nice because you know what you're getting into with the authors. I've really enjoyed that. Diving deeper into this, you can read, the, starting at chapter one, you start it with loads and load applications, see who the author is, how the chapter is broken down. They also list as part of this an exam guide at the beginning right here. You can check this out. So there's your exam guide, tells you what you're getting into from the spec and the approximate number of questions based on the spec at the time that this was reviewed, which you can see is in 2015. So that's just to give you a little glimpse of what you're getting into for this section, and how much probably time you need to be spending studying. So then you just start getting into the material, right? Starts with some application talking about what you're getting into, and then they start getting into uh, the theory of it. After that, they should be getting into example problems, which is where your head should be. So after each major concept they discuss, they talk, they give you example problems, which is super nice. And again, it's a mix of black and white and colored pages, but you're getting everything that you need, including stuff from the codes 
in this book so you can go and find it. So will these need to be updated as codes change, of course, and as the specs change, of course, and that's just the nature of the beast, right? But for the most part, people want material that's gonna help them specifically with their depth sections, and this is what this is gonna provide you, right? So everything you need is in here for the structural depth section. Now, you might be wondering, why isn't it like twice as thick? Structural depth section is a huge section. Why isn't why isn't it thick? And just to give you an example, I have over here a, a geotech and transportation. Here's geotech. Geotech is thick, right? And that thing is huge. And the reason why they do this is simply because most of the material that is found for your structural section is found in the AM portion. And so their AM review guide is what's going to help you the most uh, with material that may be not be found in here and to fill out everything that you need. So between the two of them, you're getting covered with everything. So back's got a little blurb about the School of PE. You can check that out. And that is really it for this review manual. This is the Structural Depth Preview Edition. Again, only available for those that are signed up for their courses. If you do want to check it out, you can go to civilengineeringacademy.com slash SOPE, and you can go check out the Structural Depth Review, uh, either their course and pick up this edition, or in the future, they will have these available to you. Um, when the, when the exam goes computer-based. So uh, there you go. The Structural Depth Review of the School of BE. Definitely a good book, good resource, and if it's something uh, you're looking out there for more additional resources, I would go check it out. Okay, that's gonna wrap it up. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Just a quick review of these manuals. Uh, thanks for School of BE for sending those and allowing me to do a quick review again. You have to be a course member to be able to get access to those. So if you need that, go to civilengineeringacademy.com slash SOPE. But in 2022, 2022 and beyond, they will be released out into the public. So you can go check those out as well and get a version, even if you're not a course member, as they add more to it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that quick review of these manuals. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. But hey, check out those cool mountains. <laughs>